Okay, ladies and gentlemen, don't look like we got a whole lot done here since we've been here today, but I'll tell you what, we have been on it. This thing right here was a bear to get done. I mean, it was like an inch and a half longer here. This piece was, this one here was like an inch and a half longer that way. So it was like three inches longer than the other piece. So there was manipulation like crazy that had to be done with that. And I tell you what, I don't believe it would have been possible without that bad boy right there. Can you guys see what that is? I'm gonna have to walk up there and get a little closer look at that. Let you guys see what we got going on. Oh, and by the way, I went, I see that big fan up there. I went to Harbor Freight Mall though to get some, get some more furniture, Dolly. So you see what we got going on here. We are rolling those rolls of carpet up long ways out there in the big hallway, getting them the way they need to be going, folding them and bringing them in here. Those dials in the floor are truly time staking to get stuff worked around them without without just demolishing the carpet. See, and we've got blue tape on them right there and rolling it out yesterday, that first piece, rolling it out. Uh, look right there, I'll let you see. See that? It's all down the center of that roll right there. So getting that thing rolled out long ways or getting it rolled out the regular way and uh, without punching holes in the carpet in places where it's not intended to punch holes was crazy. So I thought of this last night to roll it up long ways, just like I got here. Think of stuff all the time when I'm laying in bed or in the showers, whenever I have all my genius ideas. But anyway, I thought we'll roll it out there in the hallway out there, roll it up long ways, the seam side facing us. So we can just uh, roll out what we need, get our seam lined up. That's what we did right here. Got our seam all lined up with it uh, rolled out just a couple rows here so it was real long up through here we got our seam lined up and then rolled it over and poked the holes through it as we rolled it over oh right there for the dials see right there's one and there's a hole and same thing right there you can see the carpet so we just roll them up to it and poke a hole in it at the same time uh, we just got to always have those things in our mind because even under here, they even run up at an angle. See, look right here. It's way out here is another one. And somewhere right in here is another one. And we got to really be careful not to walk on this or nothing to gouge hose right here. See that? It's damage the carpet in a place where we don't want to damage it. So we always got to be cautious of those things. Oh, yeah. Check it out, this is what I was wanting to show you. Check it out, ta 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 ta. Finally got me one of them bad boys just in time for this job right here. I mean, I got the tall legs on it and I used it down there with the tall legs on it because I did cool, oops. I did use my cool glide on that since I had to manipulate the carpet so much. So having the tall legs on it when I done that was phenomenal and check this out. Those two are a super awesome pair, okay? When I was getting this lined up here, before I rolled it over and made all my cuts and stuff like that, I would have that just as uh, straight as possible, yet the tail piece on that piece and the head piece on this piece. And I would push it long ways, and then at the same time I would have that right beside that head piece, pulling it together. So as I was pushing it, I was also doing that. I know that thing will do it at an angle because those little feet spin any direction you need to. But pushing it forward and then using that other one to bring it in was a beautiful combination that is going to make this job so much easier. Uh, anytime you're working with real long pieces like this, it, that's always, always the tough part of it is... Uh, Getting all these seams perfect, usually kicking, 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 kicking. Well, shouldn't have to this time, so check this out. I didn't do much, I only did about, uh, uh, that might be about three feet right there that I did down through there. That way I don't have too much in the glue and too much to manipulate uh, that's already stuck down whenever I'm 
shifting around for my seam, so that worked out nice. That's gonna work out nice. That's what I discovered on the last job I did. I'll actually do three gluings on one piece of carpet. I'll do about this much on my seam, then I'll do the center section here, and then I'll do that much on my seam again here. So it just makes everything work a lot nicer. Uh, while this glue is tacking up a little bit, I, I, or while I've been prepping the seam, uh, getting it all cut, sealed, and all that kind of mess, uh, which takes a minute because that's uh, 70 foot down there, and that's another 70 foot, so that's 140 foot of seam preparation right there. And I actually jumped the row and cut my blue line off that I was keeping on this piece here when I got right down there about six or eight feet from the end. So I had to come back up here and start all over again just to jump over another block to get my blue line back. So took a few minutes to get that. While I was doing that, I had these guys out here. This is the hallway that I was using. Rolling them out uh, here in this great big area. So we got this huge area right here, which is super nice to have. So we can roll these out and roll them up long ways just makes it nice to be able to have that space and then see the furniture dollies there rolling them in here on that so we literally don't have to we don't have to carry any of those big rolls and uh it's just making it a lot easier to roll them out long ways like that so when we get over here you can see how see right here how much this thing is angling so look at here this first piece straight down the center and this one it goes way over there and look how much we got up here still but yet it's almost to the wall down there so that next piece is actually going to touch the wall right up in there somewhere so it's actually going to close that gap right there and then that next one right here is the 60 foot piece is uh it's going to hit somewhere right in there and come up to here so Everything's working out real good so far. I've been, I'm happy with everything thus far. So, uh, let's just carry on, carry on. This thing is phenomenal, phenomenal. Definitely does what it's supposed to do, for show. Saves you the kicking and beating that carpet to death, son. This thing has been nice. This has been nice, nice. Like vanilla, nice, nice, baby. This is a little bitty half inch pattern. So it is super, super, super anal getting all these lines messed up. And this thing has been awesome. That's right, it's awesome. The Crane 515 Mini Stretcher. Check it out. It's got grenade pins right here. You can spin those bad boys around. Get this thing in any position that you want to. It's got extension legs that raises it up nine inches off the floor you can work your iron under whatever you need to do this is the boss absolute boss just been the boss waka waka texas ranger waka 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 i'm having to manipulate the crap out of this too uh like I said, this half inch little pattern, it is specific, son. And look here, you can just walk your wrinkles wherever you want them to go. This thing does the job. It does the job. Look at that, our kids are with you, just look at that. Okay, it is, it's like 7.30 and we're gonna be done. Huh? You tri 
much there, right at the center there. We're going to be done. Uh, we got this one seam right here done, and we got all these other carpets in here. You guys probably seen that earlier. We got another one in here and ready to go. Um, after putting this down and, and actually working on the seam with this is so awesome, you guys. If you don't have one of them, you have definitely got to get you one. That was awesome. Check it out. I didn't use a knee kicker, not one single time on this 70 foot seam right here. And it is matched up perfect all the way down. You, the, the, every, this little bitty half inch pattern is perfect all the way down. I can't even see it at all. So uh, it'd be, you, you'd be doing real good if you find it right there. But anyway, it is, that thing worked out phenomenal. I'll just say that it was awesome. Anyway, it's like, like I said, it's like 7.30. And let's see here, if you can see going across it. No, you still can't see it at all. At all. So, I am tickled with that. Anyway, the crane stretcher is absolutely phenomenal again i did not kick a kicker not one single time for this entire seam 70 foot seam right there okay um yeah anyway took i think jerry said an hour and a half is what i was getting at an hour and a half from start to finish of working that seam is how long it took once i got down there and actually started putting it together so at that time, they didn't have a whole lot they could do, so they was just uh, assisting me, you know, <laughs> fold this whole piece over and then TP this out there in the center of it, or folded it like a paper airplane to the center, and then I worked that side, and then I come and worked this side here. Uh, I don't know what this is. This was in here from the get-go. Just like a distortion, or I don't, I'm not sure. You can like see the blue gets a little thick. See that right there, and that's what makes it look like that. There's actually a couple spots like that. I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but I assure you, it's not the scene. My scene down there looks better than that, and that scares me right there. When I seen that, I thought, oh, what in the world? We got pulling because I seen it on the back of the carpet, and then I was like, oh, man, it's a shadow. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, we got a lot of stuff in here and ready to go. So tomorrow, first thing we'll do is fold this back. We will fold this half back, get it done outside of uh, about two feet or so. We'll probably stop about right here, a couple feet from the side. And we'll get this whole centerpiece glued. Then we'll come over here while that's doing and row cut and get this going on, which it really sucks is these pegs are like right beside this one so i will i mean actually that's pretty good because then i'll be able to get this folded way out over here i'll have a lot of open space right here to get my carpet laid out there and uh then i can just get it close and poke right through that so that'll be fine i'm actually glad that it's close to the edge right there but anyway we'll start on this and then by the time we get this going on them guys will have my other pieces rolled up and brought in and put over here and again by the time we get this done uh i'll, I'll be working on getting this seam cut and stuff like that while this is drying and we'll just keep jumping side to side and i should be able to get uh tomorrow that seam done this seam done uh where it connects on over here seam done and the same thing over there that last 60 footer i hope i can get that done and if i do that will leave me one long seam uh somewhere right in here it'll be like another 60 footer um over here that fan right there helped out a lot today so we didn't get here till late this morning too. It was like 10 o'clock whenever we got here because I didn't. I had them meet me at my, at my house at about eight and then I had to, we made a couple of stops to get a biscuit and such like that. So anyway, an hour and a half drive 
and stuff like that. It was, like I said, about 10 o'clock before we got here. So 10 to seven, I don't know what that is, but tomorrow we will be able to get two hours earlier, if not earlier than that. I hope we can get here about seven and, and go till about seven. So hopefully tomorrow we can have about 12 hours to work and we should be able to get a good amount of this down and ready to go. So cock a doodle do. As always, once again, thank you guys for tuning in to the Daily Grind. Until tomorrow, FBSB's out.